Uh, okay, I think we're ready. All right, three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the slightly belated BNL stream today on this fine 18th of March 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, my week has been chaotic again, but uh, the good kind of chaotic, I guess. Lots of stuff happening, lots of things in the doing. Um, let's jump into today's game, shall we? So, uh, this is a, um, I guess, uh, an interesting game from... Uh, uh oh. There we go. Go. And now I gotta manually move things over. Ah. Ah. There we go. Uh, this is a, an interesting game. Uh, I have played this before, but I never owned this or grew up with this as a kid. It just happened. It's just, you know, you give it a go at some point. You're you're interested in. Uh, licensed media properties in the PS1 era, so you're gonna you're gonna see this for a bit. But this is a late PS1 game. Uh, from the title, you can tell this is Disney's Lilo and Stitch uh, on the PS1. Trouble in Paradise. And uh, like many licensed games at the time, it sort of plays direct homage to uh, a very particular game franchise. So you'll see in a bit as we get into that. Blitz Games! I don't know what else Blitz Games has developed. I'm gonna look at that right now. Blitz Games. What did they make? Uh, also, we're gonna have the classic... Um, oh, was a development studio done. We're gonna have the classic uh, blurred out videos uh, when we get, come across them. Blitz Games made a couple of games including Chicken Run. Hey, and... And... Uh, Reservoir Dogs. Oh my gosh, that was them. And the Bratz Game. Wow. Uh, I don't know if this music is licensed. We'll, get, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I guess they got a bunch of Elvis songs. There's Lilo. There she is. Check the controls. Lovely control screen, by the way. I love it. Um, and you can turn the music up or down if you want. Uh, but this will pretty much be a one, a one stream deal. Like, I don't think this game is long enough to justify that much content. Uh, so anyway, full motion video. This is the part of the movie where uh, the, I guess, the escape pod that Stitch is on crashes down into... crashes down into Hawaii. Uh, but yeah, sure. <laughs> and then here is Stitch. There he is. It's been like ages since I've seen- well not ages, I've actually seen this one fairly recently. Uh, Lilo and Stitch is probably one of the- the- like, I think this holds up fairly well, um, over time. And I think it's just because, uh, the themes are very solid, the animation's great, and it comes together very nicely in a fun, kind of action-y, uh, moment at the end. But it doesn't really need action-y moments as it builds up. It's, uh, you know, it's like, what's- what's the- what, I don't know my film, uh, and he gets run over by various trucks. And then he appears in the dog pound. Comments that he's not adorable looking. So he uh, believes apparently... <laughs> Ew, gross noises. Ew. And then we get the busy says hi, and then are we in? Are we are we in the game? We're in the game. We're finally here. Um, oh, sp spinning Lilo! Whoa. Um, but yeah, I, this one's just a curious one because you're gonna see the gameplay. And you're gonna be like, oh, oh. Come on, Stitch. There she is. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. We just accept there that he can talk. Hi. Listen, Lilo. I've got to go to work now, so I'll meet you in town at one o'clock. Okay? Okay. <laughs> One o'clock. That's ages away. Just like the last time I watched Lilo and Stitch. We can get some more photos for my wall. Oh, this is a photography game secretly. Uh, so yeah, so I guess the goal of the game is you gotta collect photos. Uh, if we hit select, we have a world map where, interestingly, uh, how do I explain this? The world map basically works. There's a bunch of routes, and you'll see that they've got uh flowers. And four thingies. 
that's in the level. The level is the gap between two sections. It's very curious. Um, there's only 12 levels in the game as well. So we're going to be done very, very soon because they're not actually that long. But every time you're at one of these kind of like hub areas, you actually get like a choice of directions, or at least eventually, but also not really because you, you're just going to go down every single path anyways. Koa Wood! Koa Wood! Uh, and then as we get into the actual gameplay, well, what kind of game is it? Oh my gosh. What kind of game is it? It's a... It, take a guess. Take a guess. It's, it's Crash Bandicoot. You got a fixed camera angle, you got boxes, they taught you to ground pound, and you don't even need to ground pound because she just has voodoo powers. She just shines a freaking doll. That's good enough. It counts as Crash Bandicoot, doesn't it? That's not actually that hideous looking. It actually is pretty... Yeah, okay. Like, I mean, it looks the part and runs fine. It's got the fixed camera angle. Uh, but I guess the, the bit that you rip on, uh, you know, generally for licensed games is like, what more is there to it? Like, currently right now, you know, okay, we're starting off simple. It's the first level. But trust me, as we go through the stream and you'll, you'll start to, you know, feel exactly why I'm like, oh, is this really worth the money? Who knows? But this is the Lilo and Stitch game. This guy, oh, there he goes. I don't know, it, it's, it's competent. But yeah, as a dig to these guys, or not dig, but like, it's competent, but like, I don't know, I kinda want more. Uh, oh my gosh, I gotta sneeze, ah. We're in the sneezy part of the year where I- oh no, no, no sneeze. I didn't sneeze. I like, the, I like these levels aesthetically. It's like, oh, we got a little fun building over here. Uh, bottomless pits, you know. There's your photos, that's how you know you're picking it. Oh, these menus look very, like, odd. Like, I wouldn't expect PS1 games to have menus that kind of look like this. I don't know. The trend of user design, user interface design. Uh... But yeah, I'm gonna try and grab everything. I might as well. Like, we'll, we'll have a go. We'll have a, a crack at things. And we grabbed everything. That's how you know you did it. And away she goes. And that's it. That's one of the 12 levels. Just the whole thing. Are we, is it 12 or 16? I'm pretty sure it's 12. But we'll figure it out. Sometimes you get these little, uh... Well, you might get mini games in between. Or, uh, in this case, I think you actually get a boss fight. There we go. So we can't progress onwards. We gotta go, you know, destroy this thing. Oh my gosh! <laughs> just casually a rock idol comes to life. He's blocking the path. I can't just walk around him. How do you defeat him? Well, he throws a thing. And then he proceeds to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. And he proceeds to walk out at you, and then he's like... Nah, I'm turning around, and then the game just gives, gives off the ghost. You have to just hit him. And I proceed to wait. And wait. And then he walks out and does a melee swipe and just turns around. And then it prompts me again. And that's it. We defeated a, a boss. Now we can move on. I'm constantly hearing some squeak noise. Oh, and, and Stitch is also taking over for this level, I guess. Kaona Road. I've never been to Hawaii. It actually could could be a cool place, but uh, yeah, no, I've never been. Maybe I should rent a car when I'm over there if I ever go. There you go. His Stitch. What does Stitch do? That's different. Uh, he has a breath, and he also has a Crash Bandicoot spin. I thought you'd, you'd like to know. He technically has a super mode if he drinks not drinks enough coffee. We'll see. We'll see as we go. Can jump on your Kia. Man, that bar is filling as he gets his coffee. Oh my gosh, the poor garbage. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty just uh, happens kind of game. There's not much to really say. You gotta watch out that you don't 
miss some of the, some of the, oh, rip. There's a life there, and that's just like the meanest life. I'm gonna have a, another crack at it. Oh, oh, no, no, I got there in the end, I got there in the end, it's okay. So I guess what's... What this gets me thinking about is like, what does it take to make a licensed game? Because obviously, you know, making like a fancy camera angle like this, it's not easy. Like, I feel like Crash Bandicoot is not the simplest- oops. It's not the simplest of games to follow, as an example. Uh... But, I, like, I don't know, because I guess it's like, well, you've got your basis already for like... You know, your game, you you copying this one idea. Oh, this this as well, this always throws me off. So you gotta like stand on this. Or no. Yeah, yeah that's how you do. Cause yeah, I <laughs> a lot of the time I'll throw I'll throw myself off and then I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. Miss that. Gotta restart the level again. Apparently I can vaporize these things with the pure power of my breath. You might be wondering what that bar on the bottom uh, left is as well as it was filling. Uh, just gonna make sure I don't miss anything. So if you hit triangle, a uh, stitch is this. Uh, you don't have to keep going, but you can't. I, I don't know why. I assume that someone just wanted to go have stitch go crazy mode, but uh, there's, there's no need for it really. <laughs> just kind of happens. What did the stitch say when he crossed the road? Um, icky boogie. What's up, Sophia Jack? How's it going? Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow very much. Uh, but no, things are going pretty good. Uh, just chilling, vibing, start of the stream, start of the, the Monday. Well, it's not the start of the Monday evening. It's, a uh, 8.30 p.m. Uh, Sydney time. 8.45 p.m. almost. Um, and we're almost done with this level as well. Um, yeah, nah, things are, go things are going pretty chill. Uh, other than that, I've been spending- oh my gosh, hold on. Where's the- where's the coffee that I missed? Can we backtrack for the coffee? It's probably a bunch of garbage bins that I just missed. Or this guy. More than that guy. See, I guess, like, this is what you could say, like, oh, you know, like, a bit of added time for backtracking. It's like, this level only took me about five minutes to walk through. <laughs> Dude, his walk cycle's hilarious, though. Um, and the music doesn't loop quite perfectly. That's the other. That's the other gripe. It's like, uh. But yeah, no. I'm curious how many of like the people who worked on this game one still are around. Like, I would. I I still would always love to like have a chat with, you know, people who made like any game really, because like someone grew up with this game. This was someone's jam. And f for as much as I rip into it and I go like, oh, you know, like it's Crash Bandicoot. And it's probably not like. You know, <laughs> it's not, it's not the most, uh, incredible, like, you know, Crash, I'd say Crash Bandicoot itself is more impressive, but it's also like, yeah, you know, for like what it is, well, that's fine. Yeah, it was totally a couple of garbage cans at the beginning of the, oh, I'm at 99, what am I missing? Oh, I, 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 I saw it in the terrible Zed fighting. Right there. There you go. Let's roll. Good thing this person is uh, sweeping everywhere, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, what's happening in the world? Uh, again, I, I keep saying uh, every week I'm playing more and more... Uh, Grid Legends and more and more Talos Principle 2. I'm nearly done with the Talos Principle 2. We're up to basically World 11 out of 12. We're getting very close to the end. So, again, still enjoying it. Curious where it's going to end up. What's this, like, slow-mo crown pound going on? Um, I'm curious where it will end up, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. As for Grid Legends, I don't know. I it, It's such a guilty pleasure for me because it's, like, it's not the most, like, engaging or unique driving game but i think it's just the you know a very nice blend of lots of tracks and lots of cars there's enough variety of for me that it's like eh, it's fine at the end of the day and the cars feel somewhat different enough that like you know i accept that so that's all good um but i haven't really played anything like too new was, 
were you hearing something out of your left ear? I, I, I feel like I was going insane just then. Oh, by the way, we got another one of these things. Probably gonna have to get used to fighting a bunch of these. It just happens. Oh, Stitch has not what you do. Wow, what do you do? What do you do? Whoa. Whoa. And there he goes. Ooh. Yep, okay, sure. Uh, yeah, these post- oh my gosh, this- Rip the traffic, but uh... Yeah, we'll just- we'll just keep walking, keep continuing, I guess. Can't decide where to go- Lilo, where you going? Where you going, Lilo? Maya Kanu Trail. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, fortunately, uh, in the world of drama, uh, not much actually, or not anything needs to really be said. Everything I said last week still holds, so, uh, don't have to uh, appear at drama for a day. So that's all good. But you know what the drama of the world is? Uh, Star Wars Battlefront Remastered. Um, I have not played it, but I have played the originals? Oh, I played Battlefront 2. I haven't played the first one, so I don't really know specifically uh, things about the, the first game. Um, but uh, for reference, there was a remaster that just came out. It was announced fairly recently. Like, a pretty, pretty quick turnaround. Like, a couple of months, I think. Um, and, uh... Pretty much, it's a remaster of the two games that released on the PS2 uh, for the low, low price of fifty-one twenty-two on PC. But it's a uh, fifty-two and a half bucks on the Switch, and yeah, okay, sure. Uh, for reference, on PC you can just get the actual original two games for fourteen and a half bucks each, and that still seems to be the case. Uh, this is, I think, this is a screen clear. Yeah, it's a screen clear. <laughs> Don't explain why Lilo can just summon the, the freaking ice cream guy, but sure, okay. Um... We even get the TNT barrels from Crash, like... Okay, sure. Um... The music's okay, though. Like, it all, it all comes together as, like, yeah, it's a game. Like, I can't, I can't rip on it, like, that much. Other than just, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm just gonna say, yeah, it's not much content. There's not much to it. At least the Emperor's New Groove, I can say it's doing some kind of curious and interesting things, but this one is just like, yeah. It's Lilo and Stitch. Uh, not at the same time. It's Lilo or Stitch. Very curious floating floating picture. Um, so okay, so the Star Wars Battlefront remaster. Why I mention it? Uh, well, it's a <laughs> the checkpoints are very forgiving as well. But the health is sometimes a bit mean. It's a very Bobsy enemy right there, isn't it? Uh, the Star Wars Battlefront remaster is sort of a, a hunk of not a hunk of junk. That seems very disingenuous, but. There's a lot of problems, and a lot of problems given how relatively straightforward of a port it is. Like, I know, porting games from old platforms isn't necessarily just as easy as take the game and release it again. Sometimes it is, and especially the ones that look like, you know, they're you know, already on PC. They've already got, you know, like a PC version. It seems that the Star Wars Battlefront uh, remaster is... They've taken a console version. There seems to be bugs and uh, behavioral things from that console version that are carrying over into this PC version, as well as every other version. Um, but uh, they've also tried to, you know, AI upscale the textures. Oh, it's just impaled by a boar. I give you lives all over the place, so I'm not really too fussed about losing too many of them, but uh, I'll, I'll try and be careful. Some funky platforms, though, I'll tell you that. There you go. That boar has been vored. 
あの,<笑>あのな<笑>あー but,、uh, but yeah yeah I, I don't want to say like ports are necessary or remasters or whatever we're classifying this I guess this, this really is a remaster because it is you know not much uh you know they've taken the original textures and they've not even changed really any of the gameplay for the most part it's just straightforward as it is which is fine but it does you know always beg the question of well if the original game works on pc what is the value of this and the answer is because they haven't ported the original versions for other consoles like that's that's pretty much it and it makes the money because re-releasing star wars battlefront one and two for uh half the price of a full price game is uh Oh, it's, a, it's a fair bit of fair bit of money to be made, oh, unless unless uh, Disney is charging a ton for the Star Wars license. So what exactly is wrong with it? Okay, first of all, upscale AI textures people have a hit, a hit or miss on. I feel like it's better than the raw textures most of the time, most of the time, because sometimes uh, you know how it do be. Oh my gosh, it's a boss. This one is red. This one is more involved. Are you ready to see what makes the red ones different from the green ones? Okay, you ready? Well, nothing really, actually. Maybe the other one was a red one and I just wasn't paying attention. It's coming at me. Whoa! Ooh. Man, Leela's got a lot to watch out for. So, okay, so we walk down here. And, and away we go to another level, another uh, adventure. They're all beaches. Actually, I think we had streets before, so maybe that's a bit disingenuous of me. Uh, what else is wrong? Uh, some other quirky issues, such as um, the... Uh, the 64 vs 64 player maps, or, or mode really, um, I hear people say it's very chaotic and on top of that uh, there are only three dedicated servers running it, which means 384 people worldwide on a dedicated server playing these modes, which good luck trying to get that many people on not dedicated servers. Um, and on top of that I saw someone say that like the ticket count is unchanged, which means that effectively the maps end very very quickly because you're defeating the same number of people well, the same number of people in a much quicker set of time um oh yeah sand castles also hold the secrets gotta have that 12 bar blues and surf rock oh. <laughs> t-pose jump love it uh i think some other technical issues that i think some people have uh seen oh my gosh that background as well did you see that Ugh. Ugh. uh some other technical issues people have seen uh it forces 30 fps in quite a bunch of scenarios which is like it's not a game that looks like it should be capped at 30 fps these days and given that it's not capped at 30 fps and you know, single player scenarios, it's weird that it happens in multiplayer. Could it be a synchronization issue? Where it's like the game's like, how do I synchronize things? Well, just force everyone to run at the same frame rate. It's not good, but hey, at least I can try and explain it. Um, there's also uh, weird things about the achievements not working directly, which I guess that's less the... Well, that's not a problem with the original game, that's just something new, and it doesn't really work. Just like the 64 player servers. Um... And it's not necessarily to, to just rip into this game and therefore say, yeah, remasters suck. I don't know if you can really say something general about the wider state of gaming. Uh, certainly, my opinions are, man, that's a lot of money for a uh, just a very straight remaster. Um, even if it is two games in one, it's not like, you know, there's, there's, there's remasters like, uh, like the, um, the Shadow Man remaster is probably... My prime example and it's like it has quite a bunch of extra content and it's rewritten and you know remade to work on a, a newer engine that basically has every single limit removed 
It has uh, nice extras like PDFs and things like that. Uh, it's got cut content. Um, you know, it's pretty good. And it was like 28 bucks. It was half the price of this. And it definitely didn't have a big, you know, studio name behind it. Like, Aspira is a big name somewhat, I guess. Let's see if we can uh, make a staircase here. There probably isn't, you know... Oh. I was going to say, there probably isn't a value to a staircase going on here, but... Like the TNT just didn't want it just then. Okay, sure. It's <laughs> quite guy jump right there. Um, but yeah, like I don't know. It's it's a fair bit of money for for a remaster. I'm of the general opinion as well that every game pretty much needs to just work. I, like, I know, I know, bugs will always happen, but, like, I don't know, I think this is a bit too many and a bit too obvious. And, and especially for a remaster, because people don't expect remasters to break in the ways that the original didn't. Uh, oh, and there's no inverted controls option for flying on PC, apparently. It's very odd, but it's just missing. Uh, it's there on the original versions, and it's almost there if you set the config quite right, but... It is kind of odd that it's not really there, there. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Other than that, like, it's very straightforward, but... Oh my gosh, <laughs> nearly died to that. Um, yeah, I, I, I know... I feel like generally remasters should be... This, this should also be like a bit of a loyalty discount for those that own the originals because it's like what incentive is there for me someone who well i didn't personally buy the previous battlefront in the last sale but i could have for a discount oh my gosh a, a, a video cutscene from the movie and she bit her which did not happen in the game so it just seems like she's weird That's the <laughs> they have a comment that the blue. So uh, this is your end of four levels boss fight. We got to fight fight air quotes Myrtle, but since uh, what's the, what's the what was the one journalist quote? It's like this game really makes you feel like you're. I think he said inside a little girl. That's a very like, hmm, kind of comment. You don't need the inside in that sentence. She just keeps running into like dynamite as well. There's nothing to this other than holding right and jumping. And I mean like her barrels explode immediately. My barrels, just a little bit. Like this, <laughs> there's really nothing to it. You just running right and jumping. Also, is it me or- oh, rip, rip. Is it me or does Lilo occupy- Like, she's pushing the camera up and down. She's just occupying the same space on screen all the time. Yeah. Look at that, she won. Merle could have just, like, driven a bit right and just taken the easier path, apparently. Or just be on the road. Also, now I'm on a bike. It's a cool part of the movie. But it, it's like, oh, okay, it's just, it just happens. Me when I live on an island with no large cities. So now we're back at Haleakala, Haleakala, Halumi. Kamehameha. Oh my gosh. He comes in. There he is. Hello there, Lilo. Nice. Oh, hello, Mr. Bubbles. So, what brings you into town by yourself? By myself? But I'm here with Stitch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm teaching him how to be good. I see. Well, why don't you try leading by example and go home like a good girl? Okay. Mm, okay. Oh, that was easy. That's it, Stitch. Lead by example. Elvis Presley 
Surely it's a model citizen. If you I can't read the subtitles. I scroll too quick. You understand. Come on. We can play them at the hotel afterward. She's just, she's just gone. So what does Stitch do? Oh, I must collect vinyl records. So now... This is how the game sort of opens up. This loop that we had earlier has four routes, but you can see that there's four more routes that have shown up, which means four more levels. I will proceed to just... <laughs> oh my gosh, Lilo, you're supposed to lead by example. Nikki track. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm trying my best on these. Um, yeah, on top of that, yeah, I... I don't know how to feel about, like, remasters not doing loyalty discounts like this. I know there was one for pre-ordering. It doesn't exist now that I... the game is out. Also, what is... What am I seeing here? Uh, that's right, we got the classic Crash Bandicoot running away from the camera level. And you still have to collect things. So, uh, it's a bit painful to pick up all the stuff when the camera isn't quite in the right spot. Also, yeah, you don't need the coffee for exactly continuing the game, but you do need the Elvis records. You need, or, and really all the collectibles. I think the film snappers are just for, uh, or clappers are just for, um, unlocking movie clips, I guess. This is like Duke Nukem, like, monster sound back there. Also, this just- this just happens! Do you remember this from the movie? What is this guy? Who is he? It's just a very strange moment, you know? It just- it just happens, you just gotta accept it. Licensed games just be like that. <laughs> and he's held up at a train track. Very classic. Very classic. Hotel Luau. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so now we're in another area. You know what that means? We actually have our choice. Well, sort of. We technically do have a choice of location, but note how there's a guy in this direction, there was a guy in the other direction. This is like, not even the most convenient spot to fight this guy, because it's just like, eh. Look at that, they have more health. <laughs> They're not quite as much of a joke as they were before. Yeah. Uh, the license game is such an art. There's something to it, I don't know. But, but yeah, yeah, no, things are chill, things are good in the world. I keep seeing articles of like, the king is unwell, uh, some saying too unwell. Uh, I'm like, oh my gosh, already? Just like this guy turning around apparently. Well, we can go on to another level. Mokihana Gardens. Oh my gosh. Gardens. Wow. <laughs> Man, there's not much to say, is there? It's just more Crash Bandicoot. Hey, at least we got a side scrolling level. That's slightly different. I'm picking up Lilo coins, apparently. I don't know who put this platform here. Is this an Elvis song? Maybe that's where all the budget went. They just had to buy Elvis songs. Dude, look at that. They, she's already, like, immortalized on these walls. Oh my gosh, croc platform right there. This is the part of, of the game that starts to get a little confusing, because it's like, you just have to know that you can climb up, like, some of these, like, structures. Like, there's just ladders there. 
And yeah, that's one of the records, so you wouldn't be able to continue the game had you not found that. Oh. You know, tiki heads. Don't you remember this from the movie? Freaking incises coming out from hell itself. <laughs> it's just a funny effect. I don't know. I can't. I. I. I feel like it's bad to laugh, but it's just like she just keels over and cries. It's, it's just like, oh, okay, sure. What other like big thing? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna totally cop it again. Oh, insane jump kick, dive kick. There you go. So what other things have happened in the world? I don't know really. Not much. Not much. Safest bridge in the world. Lizard coming to harass me again. Uh. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I wanted to like think of something very, uh, very profound. Oh, I did try and do something, something a bit technical. So, uh. For those who- oh, I'm gonna- oh wait, I got this. There you go. <laughs> uh, for those uh, who uh, watched like an earlier stream, uh, I, I discussed some efforts of uh, basically setting up uh, my own router using a, um, uh, was it a trick key green G5, like a little mini PC. And it's very cool, I like it. Um, but I wanted to spend like a little bit of time toying around with it, because I was like, oh, this thing's got like an N100 on it. I could do some video hardware encoding on it. You know, ultra low- oh. <laughs> I showed you my doll, you made me cry. Um, it's got like hardware encoding on it, it'll be pretty cool. So I put, <laughs> put in the effort, uh, installed or spun up a Ubuntu on uh, the remaining cores, because I'm using Proxmox, so that's all nice. It's just very easy to just go, ah oh, yes. LXC, new Ubuntu. How do you <laughs> he attacks so frequently. How are you meant to do that without taking a hit? And now I'm caught in the bad sequence. Um, and then I uh, went to the effort of realizing how to... I have two network interfaces and one of them is connected to the internet and the other one isn't. Look, look, oh my gosh, that, that attacking. Oh my gosh. Uh, the gutsy, ain't it? There you go. Oh my gosh, dang it, Gex. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so I, I tried doing that, then I tried running FMMPEG, and I found out firsthand, I was like, oh my gosh, installing FMMPEG doesn't have SVT AV1, which is the, the AV1 encoder you should be using. And I was like, darn, it, you know, it just didn't work, so I was like, okay. How do we do this? So I compiled from source. We, we compiled FMMPEG from source. And I was thinking it was a little weird because I don't know if I had like drivers exactly installed for the video encoding. Uh, more on that in a bit. Um, there we go. Very nice. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, there's a reference implementation of uh, AV1 encoding on FMMPEG called the uh, AOM uh, model. And... Um, yeah, no, it's it's very slow. It was taking like seconds for a frame, so it wasn't particularly very fast. I like how this is also rocked up. Uh, oh, I guess we went this way. Okay, so we still got to keep going and fight another dude. How many of these have we fought? Like seven now? Six or seven? Fight all of them, apparently. <laughs> and he claps, and then we rinse and repeat. Uh, so yeah, so installed from source. Now I have the SVT model, and I was like, oh, dude, it's going at like eight frames a second on a 4K 60 video, which is actually that's pretty okay for two cores on an N100. I was like, yeah, that's doing pretty okay. Uh, 
And 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 it's got the integrated graphics, which because I had to pass that through, I I think, I think I passed it through, all right. Uh, yeah, it turns out, um, yeah, no, I, I had to read the fine print and realize that uh, SVT and pretty much all the AV1 encoding in uh, FMmpeg is uh, all software, which made me go, oh, why do we need to like worry? Why were we worrying so much about how devices don't have AV1 encoders? And so it's like, oh, it's impossible to like, you know, be part of it because it's just like. Yeah, the software solution, like it's, it takes a bit, but with a decent enough processor, you can just go in real time. It's not that bad, so. Or at least at the certain quality level I was at. Uh, there's robots, apparently. They're going beep, so that's how you know. They're robots. Although I guess they don't such as robots in it. What is this? Is it also the robots? Are these all, like, the aliens? Like, this is their stuff? Probably is, actually. I think that's the explanation. Not just some random indiscriminate robot in my Lilo and Stitch game. Um, so yeah. Uh, also, I did a reference, uh, F, uh, H.264 encoding. And, uh, yeah, no, that worked also sort of about the same, so... I think, ultimately, I was really just benching the two E cores on the N100. I wasn't really doing that much. So to that, I would then say, hey, it did pretty alright, actually. It was definitely getting quite toasty, but it is in a kind of toasty cupboard, so... Yeah, it's okay. But, like, the amount of power used... It got results. I wasn't expecting, like, AV1 encoding to actually be, like, feasible in software. I'm out of the loop. I'm really out of the loop on that, so... Very nice. Uh, now, this was contextualized by me also looking up on YouTube, like, oh, you know, like... What does AV1 videos on YouTube actually look like? And the answer is, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty, good, pretty good, I guess. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not one to really, like, pick, like, whether it's, you know, so dramatically better than, uh, H.264 or VP9. They use VP9 a lot. Um, uh, that YouTube typically does. Um... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. On top of that as well, uh, if, if any of you watch my videos, they're all, uh, H.264, uh, actually are they? Yeah, yeah, they're all H.264. But YouTube doesn't do the higher quality, you know, encoding versions for me, or the... Because like, I assume there's, there's more, like, you know, computing power and effort that goes into that. And ultimately, if not a lot of people are seeing my video, what's the bandwidth you're really saving by doing all that work? You still gotta sort all the versions anyways. It's not like, oh, your video is there. It's like, it has to encode uh, p potentially, if your video is like 8K60 and HDR, you got like 60, 70 versions of the same video. All being rendered with just various quality settings. One thing I love, by the way, about YouTube as well, if you ever upload a HDR video, the HDR is enabled at all resolutions, including 144p, so you can have 144p, but it's HDR. I also saw one where it's like the 60 FPS kicked in, which I thought was curious, but okay, sure. Um, I don't know how to trigger, uh, like, AV1 or all this, well, I guess HDR, just upload with HDR, I guess. Um, one other curious thing as well, if the video has HDR, uh, the AV1 streams are HDR and the non-AV, sorry, the, well, sorry, the HDR streams are all AV1, uh, possible? I think it's not guaranteed, I think there's, like, uh, VP9 versions, but the... The non-HDR streams, there's no AV1 on them. Which I thought was curious. That's only if the video is in HDR. If your video is not in HDR, then AV1 will show up in places. I don't know, so... But I... I, I it's been like a year and... or oh, a couple of years now. And AV1 still, I don't know if it's really taken over the world. Also, yes, we just came through a dead end. You cannot leave. You must go through the dead end. We're actually... we're back at the school, which... Means in order to access the other level, you have to warp. You have to warp to another level. And you're basically forced to do this right now, because, like, there's no way... You know, there, there, there were two paths, and they're both going to end up at not where you wanted to be, basically. It's a bit of an odd, I guess, scenario you're in. It's a cool place, though. They put, they put in the effort in these, like, hub areas. I mean, they're just, like, you know... A very small place, but there's like a bunch of them. It's just like, man, I just like breeze past it. I just like skip straight through it. 
Because we got this guy to deal with. I'm just like, ah, oh, I gotta deal with another one, you know? I'm like. Yeah, same, Lula, same. Moral of the story is, uh, the N100 is remarkably better than I would have expected. So I actually, I do really like, and I would really recommend this tricky green G5. It just does what I throw it at it. Um, you know, like it's obviously, uh, you know, like a 15 watt tops, older lake, completely e-core processor. So don't expect too many miracles out of it. But like for being a very small server and given that my rig had eight gigs of RAM and a uh, half terabyte SSD already in there. And it was like 280 Australian. I don't know if you're lucky enough to get 280 Australian these days, but you might definitely get like 330. You might get it like around there. It's it's a pretty, pretty neat little mini machine. And it's dual two and a half gig, which is very nice. That's that's the main reason why I got it. Oh, look at that guy. It's the guy and he's a, he's a JPEG. He's not even a real person over there. He is actually just a JPEG. You're just a JPEG as well. This guy's not a JPEG though, but he is. What the heck? I summon you, now you kick me. Oh. <laughs> Lilo, no! You're causing too many particles, you're gonna crash the game. <laughs> These levels feel so barren once you take out the coins, don't they? I guess they're not coins, I keep changing every level. Instead, I'm just getting harassed by tiki torches. You know, uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom gives me a very similar vibe. Like, kind of like, beach with the Hawaiian slide guitar music. I don't know how much, uh... Hawaiian this counts really. Again, you know, the scenery's fine though. I, I I like it. But it's just, yeah, again. Over too quick. So I guess that leads into a fun discussion of how much value is enough value for a game. How long does your game really need to be in order for someone to find value out of it? I think experiences like this, I don't know if even the kids at the time would have agreed with me. Of just like, uh, it's a little, you know, a little bit too little. But I don't know, maybe, because like there were some games, it's like, I remember the, not the Monsters Inc. game, I remember it being that like too quickly, but like, uh, the Dexter's Lab game, for example. It's like, as a kid, that took me a fair bit of time. And then as an adult, ah, oh, I hope that star is still there when I walk back. Um, and then it's like, oh, I beat it on stream in like a single three hour session. Yeah, that star's still there. Nice. Whoa. And obviously, you know, here I am playing Grid Legends and it's just eternal. It'll just never end. It's just too many events, bro. It'll eventually end. Um... But I don't know, to me, I, I always want my games to kind of have, like, some kind of satisfying endpoint or goal or whatever. Um, I'm not a big fan of uh, just games going in perpetuity, which ties into uh, a fun note of, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Helldivers 2. Uh, Helldivers 2, very, ah, oh, rip. Um, very popular game, uh, four person, four person? I believe it's four person. Squad shooter, where you shoot the bugs. <laughs> Uh, Helldivers 2 has a battle pass system, uh, and, uh, it's, it's a bit of an, well, a bit of an okay system in the sense of, uh, you have a, um, like a currency that you can buy with real money, but you can also just play in game, and you'll probably find, you know, stashes with this currency in it as you play. It'll take maybe a, you know, quite a few hours to actually get the currency in order to afford the battle pass. But then once you get the battle pass, redeeming items in it involves a separate currency, which actually involves playing the game. You cannot force your way into buying the items. Um, best you can say is just, oh, I need to, you know, it takes a while to start the battle pass. 
Uh, but this this led into one a hilarious article from IGN saying like uh, there's a new battle pass and players are defending, saying it is not pay to win. Like what a what a gaslight there! <laughs> Come on IGN, what are you doing? Uh, was that IGN? I'm pretty sure it was IGN that said that. Someone at IGN. I'm throwing you under the bus, journalists again. I'm sorry. Oop. Lilo can't swim. Is there a point in the movie where they explicitly note she can't swim? This drum line is pretty wild though, I'll tell you that. I've actually made more progress in the, uh, the music production as well, so I'm actually getting a lot more of the hang of it. So it's, it, I, I swear it will, it will happen sooner than later. We are 53 minutes into the stream and I took a while to start off as well. So if I'm on YouTube, it's, it's probably less than that. And that is level eight out of 12. Time for a cutscene. Stitcher's dandruff, apparently. Oh my gosh, it's the thing that he collects. That's his health. Space chicken. This is, this is, with, with absolutely zero setup who these characters are as well. <laughs> and with zero consequence of this scene, that's the scene where, uh, what is it, Jumbo and, what is it, Plinky? Plinkly? They catch Stitch for a moment at the, the restaurant and then... Lula gets chastised for not keeping Stitch on a leash. Literally. Also, his jumper. There he is. He's got a picture in the top left. That's how you know it's still him. Where are you going? Where are you going? And uh, now we just run away for a bit. While he shoots at me. He's just going to shoot very indiscriminately. So as long as you're jumping, I guess. Oh, double kill. Greetings, Blub. How's it going? This is, uh, this is Lilo and Stitch on the PS1. This is, uh... <laughs> this is a game, I guess. Like, at the time, or like, just now? <laughs> Do you see it in the cinema? I, I can't recall if I did see it in the cinema. Because I would have been, like, oh my gosh. Oh, I have been grabbed. I've just realized that Plinkly is just like chilling out. I when it came out, yeah. Uh, I can't recall if I ever saw it in theaters at the time. Cause I didn't see like every Disney film. I don't know. I mean I was too young to see like Atlantis, but I did see, you know Toy Story. Do you remember seeing Toy Story? Might have actually been the first movie I saw, I seen Toy Story 2. I was a bit too young to really fully comprehend it as well. Uh, this no, this is this is a PS1 game. Yeah, I'd say it looks pretty all right for PS1. The, the gameplay could have more to ask for, but but it does pretty all right. Uh, what year was it? This was 2002. It would have come out. Which is also very late PS1, so if we're gonna praise the PS1. And we have full motion videos that will probably have to be blurred for YouTube. Uh, the movie was 2002 as well. This is probably like a, like a day one tie-in. Probably time to release just right. Nine years old. But nah, this movie's great. This movie, I, I'd say it holds up fairly well. I, I haven't even, like, judged the movie itself. Um, but yeah, yeah. Stitch! We gotta get out of here! Okay. Dancer. Why is that so beepy? What's the matter, Stitch? <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine the subtitle is what they wrote in the script, and that he's Someone just looking at it. Look for you? Oh, but there could be more of these. We need to find them and 
get rid of them somewhere. I know. We can throw them in the volcano. Someone's tracking me. Also, it's not attached. I assume maybe it's like it triangulates. Whatever the case, four more levels, and then that's it. We're done. That's that's the game. <laughs> it's over in a heartbeat. <laughs> But yeah, so, uh, so, yeah, rip the IGN article for saying that apparently this item is pay to win, because one, it's more of a side grade, it's a different weapon that, you know, maybe it works in your scenario, maybe it doesn't, uh, or your playstyle, um, but it's like, it's, it's kind of up to you, and two, pay to win, one, you can't even pay to, like, directly get it, and the win part, I don't know, so, thanks IGN, you gaslit people, but this also got me thinking as well, well, this is a... I don't think Helldivers 2... I haven't looked, sorry. Um, I don't believe it's a full price game, but there's a part of me that goes... I'm really done with, like, battle passes and stuff like that. It's just like... I don't know, I was thinking to myself, why does the battle pass exist? Well, oh my gosh, she's dead! <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, why do battle passes exist? Like... I mean... You know, we could, we could do the EA argument of like, you know, like loot boxes give players a sense of pride and accomplishment. Battle passes give players a thing to work for. Like maybe there's, you know, some merit of that. But it's like, I don't know, to me it's like, uh, it's just like, kind of skin a box roadmap. Deep Rock Galactic, uh, yeah true, Deep Rock has, has one as well. Deep Rock's as well is exclusively cosmetics. All of its mechanics are not. Also, you can't pay for the currency, right? There's some cosmetics that you can just flat out buy, but that's not, like, the battle pass. Yeah, the battle pass is free. Like, it's just a seasonal thing. And I think it's it's very fair to acknowledge that, like, battle passes work like that. They're just like, yeah, you know, like, there will obviously be motivation because you just put it there and you give people a time limit. Oh my gosh, you give people a time limit. The battle pass just encourages seasonal play. Exactly. And I don't mind stuff like that because we've had seasonal events in games for, you know, long times. Um, maybe not as much for like games that aren't MMOs, but I think for the four player shooter, you know, like I think that's fine. For, for games that are very multiplayer focused, I accept that. Monetizing Regardless of the game, after the fact, I don't know, I'm kind of done skis with that. People are saying that the Helldivers 2 stuff is not that hard to grind for. Yeah, yeah, like, from what I was seeing, I saw people say, yeah, you know, like, if you're really going out and, like, going out of your way to get in every level you do, it'll probably take, like, 8, 10, 12 hours? And I touched the lava on burn. 8, 10, 12 hours in a multiplayer game, and especially for one that's, like, you know, you play with different people, or you're, you're still unlocking stuff anyways. It's like, that doesn't seem like that much time. Is it worth the money to then uh, just buy it outright? I'm like, uh, doesn't seem like it. Like, if I'm gonna have- oh, if I'm gonna have to play this game anyways. You like how just casual Volcano, by the way? I've just- I've not even addressed it, but it's like, yeah, Volcano. Very chill music for a Volcano. What are these, like, cups of flour from RuneScape? I think they're meant to be coconuts. That's how volcanoes work. That is true. I really wanna, like, I really wish I could go to a volcano and totally not, like, absolutely get singed by, like, the scorching heat that's coming off that. Um, maybe- oh, you know what, actually? I was <laughs> Freaking- we need to- we need to have, like, um, what's the term? Like... Like, uh, what? That was a late jump. The resonant heat would, would scorch. Remember the path of the final battle? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's in my sunshine. I'm just gonna row a boat across here. It's all good. Don't worry. Dude, that retro achievements, uh, GameCube roll is coming up pretty soon. Is it at the end of this month? I'm not sure if it's at the end of this. No, sorry, April, definitely. I'm pretty sure it's. It was in April to go. It's coming up soon, though. Yes! I proceed to take every single hit in the world. Uh, also, this is this is not <laughs> lava. There we go. 
Oh, they did call it hey, hey, <laughs> four vowels right there. H is also um, in Greek. Uh, eater uh, has a capital eater that looks like a H. I don't know if that counts as H. Our hidden vowel. It's a dormant volcano. It also has water. And it also lets kids just casually jump across it. But we gotta fight another, another one of these. There's like four enemies in the game, and I'm pretty sure this is at least three of them. But look at that health bar. Fortunately, it's not the individual squares, but it is still six hits for these last few guys. Yeah. Uh, Uh, but I don't know, there's something that rubs me the wrong way about like battle passes and really any microtransactions now. I used to be much more inviting of it back when Overwatch came out. I love the intimate rain by the way, it just kind of comes and goes. I used to be okay with it when Overwatch came out, but now, ugh, ironically, as the monetization got very aggressive in Overwatch 2, but it also became free to play, it's also the point where I'm like, ah, uh, very no, because that's, that doesn't work for me. I think it works for the people who play only this game and I don't know, it, it sort of... Like, people should realize that, like, you don't have to really stick onto games. If all battle passes were done, like the Helldiver one, it would be fine, but the problem is it isn't. Well, exactly as well. Like, if we're gonna generalize all monetization models, uh, we're gonna definitely miss the ones that are... fairer. Um... But yeah, like, really, all I desire... is just, like, just release games more often, and don't freaking spend, like... 600 million dollars on your battle pass infested like you know game that you're trying to support for a year because here's the here's a such a big point oh there's another guy over here as well um anything you miss during the battle pass gets put into normal loophole. yeah I, I find that that's fine and cool fortnite is like massive fomo if you miss out because it, it's like a lot of those items like um i remember thanos was playable and it's like you just can't get them anymore they're only available for that battle pass which probably might be you know how they get away with so many licensed uh items artificial shortage yeah i wish i could hit him again but i'm pretty sure if i stand next to him i bait him out so yeah um so people feel pressure to buy now yeah exactly i i do wish people didn't feel pressured uh, oh, I guess I got two paths. Two paths, one family. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For reference, that's the only boss battle. Every time I go to one of these hub worlds, they're almost always blocking one of the paths. I think there's been like two so far, but they haven't been in the way. This is one of my favorite levels, by the way, because it's just like... There you are. Lilo. Stay there. Also, they call him Cobra. But it's like, I love that. It's like, what what a setup. Stay there. I, I'm just saying, it's the game itself that decided that we'd pick up watermelons this level. You know. No relation. No connection. I, why, why watermelons on this level? Come on. And then he like falls in the water for a bit. He does get out eventually though. If you wait long enough, he will get out, but he also will just get out anyways. L Lilo's face is carved into that tree log. Ouch. It's a bit painful to, like, grab everything, ain't it? Come here. He's <laughs> just chilling there, it's so good. Fun fact, if you look at the, uh, like, the old Twitch highlights that exist, this is one of them. Back when I used to like play these games and before we had like Discord go live, I'd actually just play them on Twitch. So I'd actually have like old highlights of like some games I played, including uh, me beating Harvester. Hey, wasn't he supposed to like fall there? Bro, I'm running out of space. I'm running out of space. Oh no. Do you complete? Yeah, these are, this is this, me picking up all 100 doodads and the four things. Well, the four things are required in order to actually continue the game. But the hundred doodads and the clippers, the movie clippers, clappers are optional. Uh, I played this maybe a couple of years ago. 
It, it, I swear, it only took me two hours on my very first playthrough. I look good at it, but trust me, it actually is very straightforward. And I've been dying a ton as well, and I'm still getting like tons of lives. Oh! I'm glad I jumped into the pit with him twice, and it was okay. Don't worry, guys, that pit will get- he only falls in- <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That probably explains why that one didn't fall down. Hula schooler. This is the part that you have to catch yourself, is like, remembering that, like, ah uh, yes, I've just ended up in a, you know, a one-way area and I actually need to backtrack. Or alternatively, since I've opened up this level, I can just go to the level. Okay. Do -do -do. <laughs> Pally Trail. There's only two levels left of this game, by the way. I just want to add. It's just, it's just nearly done, man. Well, they, got, they got an okay amount of variety. We got these side scrollers. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Same reaction, Stitch. Uh. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm totally done with really all, like, you know, forms of post-purchase monetization. If you got a free-to-play game, listen, I'll accept that. But mo a lot of game devs, the games are so expensive. They actually do cost that much to make. And they sign up to the fact that, like, weird alien. Um, they sign up to the fact that, like, these games need to have a year of content at least. Like, it's always that. It's like people apparently get upset if your multiplayer game you know, isn't getting updates. It's like, it's fine if it's just what it is. But it's like, because people- oh no. Because your game sort of has this like, yo, it needs to have content updates and stuff like that and last for a long amount of time where people say it's disappointing. It's like, they, they seek monetization and they're not happy with the amount of sales that they get a lot of the time, or, uh, what's the term? Not, ha not happy necessarily, but, um, complacent with the number of sales. And sometimes, yeah, no, the, the amount of money they actually spent is, like, insane. It's just, I, you can barely see the end platforms over there. There you go. Oh my gosh, lasers. Um, so, I don't know, what's the fix? Ah, we're gradually approaching that video game crash of 2025. Or 2024, we might hit that sooner. But, uh, yeah, like... Where's the money coming from? It's the investors. It's sort of more and more games that come out. I'm assuming lower path is king. The more and more games that come out. Rip. Nah. I, as in, uh, what was the Natsu? It's a 2025 or the inevitable game crash or AAA crash because investors don't have enough money because of the general economy crash. That is true. I, yeah, I don't think it's specifically like video games will die because video games are trash, but um, and, and I don't even think like video games are trash these days. Like there's lots of good games and good ideas. Uh, you know, I don't know if that sounds better than, you know, Lilo and Stitch on the PS1. This is high art right here. Uh, we are approaching the crash of live service games. Certainly. We're, we're having a lot of, like, failures as well. Like, games that just, like, they come out. And the worst part as well is that, like, you don't know how m m how many sales games have these days. Retail sales are only part of the picture. We don't have... Oh my gosh. I just... I just want... I'm trying to do the spit as well. They're, they're apparently involved to just certain kinds of attacks. I assume it's because he's looking at me. He's got to turn around. There you go. Yeah. I hope that was made clear by the fact that you looked the same both ways and Stitch got headshot. This is a very weird jump, yep. Very fun jump. Love it. Yeah, that's my one. If I'm gonna complain about something in this game, I'm gonna complain about some of the jumps in this one level in particular. As well as also branching paths, which is something that none of the rest of the game will do. I 
And what's with the higher path? Where has it gone? Are we going to converge? Yeah, there it is. Oh, almost. There it is. The higher path finally converges. Yeah, I, like, I do agree there's probably going to be a crash. I, like, I mean, to as an end consumer, unless you have actual, like, stake, either you invest in these companies or you, like, deeply care about some of these live service games, uh, that is the jump. Yeah, that is the jump. Um, then, you know, it's probably not going to bite you too hard, other than if you were looking forward to, like, sequels or things like that. For example, Deus Ex. Rip Deus Ex, we will never get that third game in that trilogy. There we go. So, so for how many times I like die in the middle of a level, the fact that it gives me a life for getting all the the coffee, and then on top of that for like just I don't know, just 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 existing for going through the level. It's like, yeah, it's fine. I have stake in one indie company, but only because it is the company of a partner. So it would suck for my sister if they went under, but they're doing well. Well, as long as they're doing well and they make cool stuff. If you want to plug it, like, feel free. Because I'll give it a look. Here we go. Is this the last time I have to fight one of these? Made door ah door romantic. I remember you talked about that one before. Yeah, it looked neat. Neat game, but entirely not my genre. Maybe they'll make one that's your genre next. They're like, oh, our market's Lord Blood. We need to make games for him. Cool boss fight, by the way. Did I ever get hit by any of these this whole stream? Probably not. No. Again, volcano. Just, just want to add. Capu caves. Capu capu capu. And the other stakes I have is probably a bunch of nice indie devs that still make cool games that are partly still in early access, not electronic arts. Early access. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it last week, because I feel like I've probably spoke about this idea before, but yeah. Inevitably, at the end of the day, as well, it's not like we're going to go back to completely square one when it comes to making video games. We have tons of examples and engines as well, but Epic Games is never going to run out of money. Like, whatever market crash is going to happen, they're like, they're riding so much income, it's probably going to work out anyways. But they do have stake in... Uh, well, they have a, they have a desire for people to still keep making games, so they're going to try their best. It's a bit of an interesting business model, but it's like, oh, okay. Like, the more people who use the Unreal Engine, just in general, the more money EA, sorry, um, Epic Games makes. Like, they're willing to pay people to basically just make games on Unreal. Because it looks good. Oh. Because it looks really good and it encourages some big players to actually go in for it. It's like, hey, it's like Windows. i got a mate who's like really been trying out lots of operating systems because she's not like... She's trying to figure out like which one is really her like use case. And I don't know, for me I always find that like Windows is like... Just, it works the most for me. And I'm finding more and more as I'm using like... Uh, like Reaper and other kind of like... Uh, door like plugins. It's just like, man, the amount of stuff that like just works on Windows. I don't know, man. It's pretty smooth, pretty good. Whereas like, then it's like, oh, can I use Linux? Uh, not really for a lot of this stuff. It might work. Maybe, it, maybe it actually does work. But uh, it also works on Windows. So. Dude, I'm wondering actually how much. As I'm going through this, how much of the stream do I have to, like, figure out the music? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of this is just Elvis. You can also get banned from using Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah, okay, this is, the, this is the other angle as well. The anti-cheat stuff, it's like, oh my gosh, like, I just wish, like, it wasn't so hostile. For the, for the digital audio workstation stuff, 
It's like, I do wish that there was maybe a little bit of a more platform, you know, a cross-platform solution to these plugins. Um, but at least that's just, the software isn't written for other operating systems. Like, it's just as straightforward as that. When it's people getting anti-cheat blocked because you're using a VM, it's like, ugh. It really should. It really should. I hate it. Because especially as well, it might actually be in Germany. Oh. Abducting children. This game is great. 10 out of 10. Dude, Gantu is actually, like, swood. I love him. Just, just, you know, happens. Oh no, it's a Unity capsule. You only agree to it in the general EULA, and Germany has heavy anti-hacker laws. Anti-hacker laws or heavy laws about preventing hackers? You could be argued that the average consumer does not actually understand what they... I, I 100% agree. Every single one, and, and on top of that, every single one of these EULAs, you don't need to sign before you purchase the game. It should absolutely not be binding if you purchase before you can look at the, or before you, yeah, no, before you can look at the EULA. Most of them, Steam does list the, 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 um, the, uh, like, you know, if it's got Denuvo or something like that, but there's no, like, terms and conditions there. And then it's like, you get in game and you gotta read a whole blob of text and scroll through and click A. It's like, bro, I had to download the whole game and buy it in order to see that. And if I disagree to parts of it, particularly lots of game- oh my gosh, surprise. If I disagree to the parts of the games that are- or the parts of things where it's like, oh, like, you can't stream this. I feel like I gotta adjust my stick sensitivity. It's a bit weird on the diagonals. Or I could just use a D-pad. It's very- it's very snappy, though. Gosh. Is, is my diagonal actually like... I think it's just because I'm getting hit right before. No, it is just a weird jump. And I gotta land on the croc platforms. This is not like the other boss fight. Trust me, I'm holding the stick down the whole way. Going, okay, we're on the D-pad. We're on D-pad, gang. Yeah, there's something... Whoa, whoa. Okay. Blendo game over is in this bit, and he hasn't saved the entire game. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I got this. I got this, bro. I'm not gonna game over on the final boss fight. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Don't worry. Oh my gosh, maybe... <laughs> I, I panic real hard every time this happens, though. Interesting that the insta-death in this one, like, I mean, I know it's lava, it's like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm actually, like, starting to, like, sweat a bit now, it's like, oh my gosh. I don't know what was going on, just the diagonals weren't, like, kicking in quite as well. Oh my gosh, especially how many times did I die right there? Come on, come on, let me get you, let me get you, there you go. Round and round and round we go. <laughs> Every time. We're almost there. What's, a, what's something where you end by getting on the truck? There you go, you thought I was going to game over in the final boss, were you? Sleel on Stitch on a PS1. I'm better than that, apparently. <laughs> but, uh, can you tell I never grew up with this game? <laughs> it's a fun, dramatic ending to the to the movie, though. I love it. Un <laughs> Heavy anti-hacker laws leaning into the super site. If I am a kid at school, I check for fun at the school system if the admin password is password. Oh, sorry, it's admin. I get it and I tell the school, hey, you should you become a convict. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Because it's just like, I mean, White Hat should really be like, well, that's technically, is that White Hat? You're not asked to do the hacking. You sort of just stumbled upon it. But it's like, hey, that's, that's good spirit. And the whole point as well is like, just bonk. We have not 
mention the word Ohana in the whole like game, by the way. None of these cutscenes have said it. Uh, so what happens afterwards? Why that stuff is super obvious stuff. Yeah. Life in exile on Earth. Read the book and... That's it. That, that was the whole game. That's 100% of the game as well. Like in court, I would argue I did not circumvent any security measures in such a case. In theory, well in theory though, a password is a, is a security measure. Like, in literal terms, they could probably get you on, on like a lot of things that you aren't even aware of as you go past it. They're like, oh, we had like, like for example, if it's like a message when you SSH as admin, it's like driving without a seatbelt. Oh yeah, yeah, where it's like technically driving without a seatbelt is like it only harms you. Yeah. There's a bunch of laws that are like that, where it's like, it's just to dissuade you from even, like, trying certain things. And sometimes it is at your own risk, and sometimes it's like... I don't know, man. Seatbelt? Yeah, oh, there yeah, I'm not arguing against seatbelts. It's, it's just a curious law. Jennifer Hale! Dude, this is probably a bunch of voice actors that you probably know. I'm pretty sure D. Bradley Baker's a pretty big name as well. And we need it back then because people said seatbelts are unmanly. True, yeah. There we go. Here's a bunch of here's a bunch of Elvis music or a couple of them. Oh my gosh, it's the name of the stream. <laughs> Thank you, Gladys Music, for 100% administration. I'm actually curious. What do the other like regional versions now that people are used to those? Like, yeah, yeah. Now here's a question, seatbelts on planes. <laughs> and you're not legally bound to actually put your seatbelt on a plane, but they'll probably yell at you a lot. And uh, it's probably not good if uh, there's ever a plane accident, because the whole point is... Uh, I I'm pretty sure, like, what's, what's it's like a morbid thing, it's like... You need to be, like, seatbelted to the plane so that they can identify based on where you were sitting. It's like, man, that's kind of morbid, ain't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, like, I don't think there's any reason to not put your seatbelt on in either of these scenarios, so... Might as well. Blendo argues for <laughs> getting rid of seatbelt laws, what else? Thank you, and we get rid of the drinking age, and we get rid of, like, like all these other, like, preventative things. If your captain tells you to put a seatbelt on because it- oh, yeah, yeah, like... Like, what, 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 is it in his best interest to tell you anything else? It's like, nah, man. Pilots are cool. They go through a bunch of their life and then they get to fly planes. How cool is that? Yeah, you think you could actually enter Lilo's house or really do anything? Because ultimately, at the end of the day, we'll look at like all these levels. You get time trials. Now, in theory, you can do these time trials if you really wanted to, but there's no actual reward for any of them. I'm pretty sure it is just... Noting that you can time trial, I guess. And they're all four minutes, and clearly these levels don't take four minutes to walk through as well. So we'll save game. I'm pretty sure I've got another save slot that is complete right next to it, and I did do the time trials on that as well. There you go. That one is definitely done. Can you tell which save is which? The, the husband of one of my aunts is also a pilot. So you should spend another hour to do... Oh, do I do the time? It's not even going to take an hour, but I might as well, actually. Okay, fine. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay. We'll do it. Listen, there's 12 levels, and uh, each time trial is apparently 4 minutes, so there you go. That's 48 minutes. Most. Or... Depends if I just retry things. Yeah. Uh, is it only for the last world? Uh, no, no, you could- this is- this- that's the whole game. That map. That was the whole game. 12 levels. Okay. Still cop it. Yeah, each world, uh, world air quotes, aka section of the game, uh, between boss fights, and not the, you know, the weird, like, things blocking your path, but the actual, like, you know, like the Gantu fight and the, the, the Jumba. It was like, there were four levels.
Now, unlike Crash Bandicoot, you don't have to weigh up this idea of like hitting these boxes that pause the time. Uh, maybe they exist later, but uh, right now it's just pretty normal going through. You did not kill the first beetle in there for- oh, did I really? It's too late to turn back now. We're committing. I thought I did, but we'll probably know in like 20 seconds. Still, look at how long that time is and given that like how, you know, how much I'm wandering around and picking up stuff. Oh, I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah, you're definitely right. I get told off. I think that's my record from the other save. Well, restart path. I'll do it legit this time. Oh, unless it just added on extra seconds for the times I didn't... For the... Like, the bits I didn't pick up. Maybe that's the theory. Yeah. Like, I might as well show it. I might as well show me doing a few of these. Although, it's, it's a... Uh, you know, you need to test the theory. All right, test the theory. Just go for it. So in theory, I should have 92 se- I'll, I'll count as I go, because I, I don't think I can miss all of these. We'll just see how many of these I pick up. Because if so, then it's like, well, it doesn't matter. You're just going for a time. Now, obviously, getting to the end of the level with, like... 80 something seconds extra is uh, probably the sure sign. Oops. All of this stuff happened in the movie, right? There you go. Okay, how many seconds? 69 seconds. There, yeah, there you go. Uh, one second. One second per one. But yeah, yeah, if it takes two seconds to pick up one, yeah, not worth it. So, yeah, so I guess in theory it's go into every level and set yourself a time. And, it, like, on top of that, it's like it takes a minute to get to the end of the level and then at most you're just missing a hundred of the thing. A okay. hundred pieces. So you'd just be put at two minutes forty. Like, it, it really takes a lot of effort to somehow take four minutes on these. Maybe for the kids. Maybe the kids weren't that good. Who knows? Ghouls and Ghosts did this part better. True, true. Hey, right, you know, I might as well just keep chatting and going on. But yeah, is there any reward? I don't think there was a single reward. We've basically seen the whole game at this point. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I uh, Hacker laws or really, you know, you should be allowed to investigate things. Like, really, whatever you do with software for, like, personal use should really be, like, you know, free reign. Um, now, granted, you know, logging into someone's external system, I think, you know... What really should be charged as a crime is the damage caused by doing that. If you log into someone's server, it's not like, you know, you've broken anything. You've technically broken in, but it's just like how, like, trespassing is like, you know, you can technically trespass, and as long as you're not, like, causing any immediate, like, risk or whatever. Showing someone that their keys are stuck in their door. I don't know, that's, I'm under the impression that's like, that's, that can't be, like... Crime, is it? I think checking super obvious stuff like SQL injections for software services should be fine. Yeah, yeah. Obviously as well, like, you know, there's a line to be drawn. Um, and I guess maybe that line is just not drawn very well in, uh, in laws. So when it comes to actually judging whether you're allowed to do something, who knows? Key stuck in the door? Yeah, yeah. You said it while I was trying to explain. Yeah, exactly. Seatbelt stuck in the door. You know.
<laughs> that, that, that's like the, um, that, uh, you know, we're, we're criticizing section, uh, 1201 of the, um, the, the DMCA. Oh, I missed two of these again. That's okay. Mucha smucha! I like how I keep going back to the level I was at. Actually, no. That's not the level I was at. That's just... Whatever. Yeah. Checking password for password and admin and checking basic SQL injection is like making sure the can't bite. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It should really not be like a crime to like okay. just look for things. And, 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 and like if you find stuff, it's like, oh, cool. I'm not a hack. Like, I'm, I'm not an exploitative guy. I'm not going to like. <laughs> it's weird. It's like I feel like the good faith of going about this. You know, should sort of, should sort of be part of the, the law somehow. I don't know what I'm saying. Hopefully popular things. <laughs> I'm playing Lilo and Stitch on the PS1. My brain is turned to mush. Collecting pineapples and defeating porcupines. I'm pretty sure these weird, like, things were enemies in Crash. I don't recall. I don't think the native Hawaiian fauna. <laughs> Invasive species. Oh, is it? Oh, no. I don't think the beetles are either. Like, that's, again. Now that I think about it more, every single animal in this is, like, something that could have been in, like, you know, I mean, we don't really have beetles in Australia, but, like, they're in Crash Bandicoot land. And you know what? My brain is switched switch off. The invasive speaks for Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> exactly. My brain is switched off, so technically it all looks fine to me. Probably be like falling through like way more. I'll probably make it to the end. It's just, it's just like, oh man, I'm actually riding the the two minute line. Do not beetles. Uh, I believe we we got beetles, but we don't have like. Like, we got, we got a thing called Christmas beetles, because they mostly, like, flock around, like, suburban areas around Christmas. Um, shout out to an embarrassing moment when my sister tried to drink a glass of milk, and there was a Christmas beetle in it, and she spat out the milk everywhere. She would love me saying that. Thank you. <laughs> that is 5% of the animal species in the water beetles. Blue beetle, green beetle. Ringo, Paul. Ah, oh, I missed that one. Whoops. Just, just keep going. You can't stop me. I love the name Ringo, by the way, because it's just like, there's no other Ringos in the world, man. Like, who else are you referring to? This sign can't stop me. Yeah, the secret to a long game is having a time trial mode and a very drawn-out loading screen. It's not too long at the end of the day. It's actually not that bad, but... Interesting part about uh, that is one of the lesser-known troubles of nuclear waste storage is beetles! <laughs> you don't want to mutate all the beetles around you. Malibich. Don't mutate the beetles. I'm actually, I don't know, like, because I know, like, nuclear radiation and mutation and, like, any fictional media is always, like, you'll grow a third arm, like, as if it's, like, you'll have such a reliably working arm. Uh, it, I, I think what it means is that it's just, like, you know, cancerous object, basically. It's just your skin grows in a weird way. Which is not fun. Uh, 
really create oh how to create science that people will universally understand as danger don't come here even in a couple hundred of years you just gotta have exclamation point it's a very you know punctual icon everyone understands it and then you have words like achtung Ones. You telling me we're not speaking German in the future? I have to draw the skull. Ah! Get those like. I don't know why my timeline's doing a round of the um the Chinese workplace safety videos. Workplace safety videos are like traumatizing, man. I mean that's the whole point. You pro if you were if you're in one of these like construction sites, at some point in your life, uh, in your life, you know you're gonna witness that. What should we do? Can't wait for E5 to come out. <laughs> uh, I just want to add that uh, this game came out the same year as Ratchet and Clank. Oh, is that a side path with like a... Maybe. I tried. <laughs> speed things up now a bit. Oh. Hugging all of it. Go back. I'm on the time trial. I can't go back and see it. Oh, I'll do. I'll do a restart afterwards. We'll, we'll see it. Don't worry. Like you know, for... <laughs> Yeah. I. Sometimes they drop something. That's the worst part. But okay. I take your point. I take your point. I'm just going now. <laughs> this is so silly. You still take the hit anyway. I missed one. One singular one. I'm pretty sure sometimes they do. So. Yeah, yeah, waiting for them to explode is not worth it, so. You're right, you're right. Alright, we'll look at the side path. We'll see the side path. Mmm, yeah, even if they drop us one, it's like, eh, it's a lot of work. And you might just take the hit anyways. Think about it, they put the tens digit on the minutes there. Like, what, is this gonna take like 99 minutes? Kid's gonna take like an hour to get through this level. I don't think a single person in existence has legitimately taken that long to get through this level. If you are someone who actually did take that long, I apologize, because I just I just threw you under the bus. If you were like three, uh, can, can we at least say that probably explains it? Like, that's fine. But... Oh my gosh, of course it's a camera that I have a moment right there. Do you not remember being super small? I don't, well, I don't remember playing, no, I don't, I actually legitimately don't remember. Here's the thing, when I was really small, one, uh, I, I freaking, my mom gave me a Game Boy when I was like three, so, that was, oh, this, this is it. <laughs> That's right. See how how worthless that was. <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> there are no side paths. 
they didn't program the camera to go anywhere else. Uh, but like, so when I when I had my Game Boy, every game I had, no, it was just Pokemon. Yeah, and uh, the thing with Pokemon is that you throw yourselves at fights again and again and again and again and again. Eventually, your Pokemon will just do it. You're high level. You just get there. You make it happen. That did save my... yeah. Okay. To the Inky, Iniki track. Yeah, the random walk. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying I was so good at Pokemon that, like, I beat it like I do now. Like, no. I didn't know the mechanics and the kid has said I like short shorts, they're light and comfy to wear. I don't know what he meant. I used to struggle so hard on Brock because I picked Charmander as my first go. I, what is this? It, by the way, can, can we explain what this is? The old annoying Ekans where the, the attack... Oh, it's probably Rap. Now these are worth it, man. Oh, he's gone. He's running. Why am I running so fast all of a sudden? Does he just do that when he's got, like, full caffeine? Is that how that works? Maybe. Seriously, I'm, like, outrunning. It's so crazy. Yeah, good old rap. I just love that, like, rap used to prevent you from, like, making a move. Like, why'd they think that was a good idea? First gen Pokemon, I tell you, man. It's full of so many fun things. One day I play yellow on stream or something. Out of all the things that I played on my channel from like ye oldie days of younger me, I guess, Pokemon Blue stuff is like, nah man, I'm happy with that. I have zero desire to do that any differently to how I did it. Maybe maybe with a bit of tight editing and not accidentally getting some of the numbers wrong on screen. Just sometimes. The Yank. <laughs> the thing with Pokemon games, I guess, is that I've played, like, Gold now. I've played, you know, Sapphire. So it's like, uh, we have to, we have to jank. Uh, <laughs> it's like, do we have to, do we have to do Diamond and Pearl now? Diamond and Pearls would be a very, like, curious one. But, yeah, might happen. I don't know if it'll happen this year. I have a different RPG that I would like to play first. Uh, gotta watch out for the Captain America Frisbees. Diamond Pearl is still good. Oh yeah, yeah, like, I mean, they're all still good, but yeah, I... My only thing is that, like, emulating the DS, which back in... 2010, when I tried it last... On stream? On stream, mind you. I, I, I definitely know that's a lot easier and smoother now. But I am curious as well, like, are there any gripes or things I have to do? For example, I have no stream layouts. Oh, see, look, I'm waiting for this. But granted, lots of stars. But, um, for me, what I'm curious about is what on earth do you do for a stream layout for you know, a DS game? You really gotta toy around, because the aspect ratio totally isn't what you want. Wow, that really takes forever. Goodbye, life, I don't need you. Uh, but I guess the nice thing is that hey, if you can do diamond and pearl, you can do black and white. Somewhat. Yes, emulation has definitely come a good long way. Yeah, this is what I mean by like, yeah, technically you can wait for that. And see, that one had three. Technically it wasn't the explosive barrel probably, but uh, it's close enough. <laughs> uh. Yes, the timer keeps going even when you die. But meanwhile, like compared with Crash Bandicoot, where you technically don't lose lives while you're doing a time trial, but uh, you got to do the whole thing without dying. So the other the other thing as well, when uh, or 
in the realm of doing uh, Pokemon games on stream is uh, things that are not just the mainline RPGs. Mystery Dungeon's always a good option. Mystery Dungeon gets a lot of, like, Twitch views. Like, I haven't personally done it, but it's like a lot of people would absolutely chime in for, like, random Mystery Dungeon streams. Probably because a lot of hectic stuff happens. First place, I guess. <laughs> okay. I love how I was like, "Hey, you know, will I, will I go back for the, for the, for the time trials?" And it's like, "That's already six levels, man. We're just on a roll. We might as well." I'm like super showing off the game by just going through the exact same levels again. Okay. Mokiana Gardens. I, I will still say, me, like, doing the, making making the trig key, my router. Oh yeah, this is going to be an interesting one, because it's like the side areas that you probably just don't want to go down. Probably do, just want to beeline to the end. Oh, I'm touching a quirky pine tree. Country is my jam, I tell ya. I'm just gonna keep going up there, it's just too much time climbing. Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> why, why was that so close to the edge? Which is an album that Stephen Wilson of Pokemon Country has done a remix for. What a wonderful segue, I'm glad that I got to say that. Me nerding out about Steve Wilson. It's a day ending in Y. Oh, okay. There's the camera's up here. Oh my gosh. These are the only like ladders in the whole game as well, I'm pretty sure it's just... Very odd, very surreal. I have not listened to like any like crazy new music recently, uh, so my discovery queue is like fairly like mild right now. It's just mostly like, oh yeah, you know, you're if, if, like if you use the the the, the Spotify like like mood for the time. Kind of thing and it's like oh you have like you know introverted uh ambient prog rock morning I have like a hundred tracks of stephen wilson it's like oh my gosh like I, I i like the guy but i swear i listen to other things i swear like i've got all my other like tangential ones i'll, I'll throw a tool on i do lose time by dying It's not about going for a record, it's about setting a message. And that message is, I beat four minutes and that's close enough. You will take just like, casual hits all over the shop though. First place. Did the time just go up? I don't think it did. It didn't go up by as many seconds as I expected there, so maybe the theory is it's a different amount for different levels. And that's just that's just weird, man, going through that level without getting punished for picking up coins. I thought I had like 80 something, so it still, still should have gone up by like Okay. 20 seconds, right? Oh well. True, true. I technically don't click on the first go, like I walk into the end, it briefly shows you your time, and then it just immediately goes up. Alright, you're gonna have to go back in the stream, you're gonna have to make this a hot moment on, on YouTube. It's like, oh, viewers love this part of your video. That's totally how it works. 
Those analytics are not that useful to me. Rip YouTube analytics. Real talk, what is anything that I'm seeing in this, like, level as well? I, I, it's just, it just happens, you know? Just checked. Ah, good old, good old Twitch clips. It did not go up at all. Hey, go! Secret strats is to just click X fast enough. There you go, you skip part of the game code that tries to implement the time. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking, I was like, I was 17 off, and I'm pretty sure I was at 2 minutes 30 at something by the time I went in, so... I'll check the screen again, like, see what the, the time it cataloged, because maybe I just... It just didn't want to present itself on that screen. Very odd. Did I find a bug in Lilo and Stitch on the PS1? 20 year old PS1 game. Sorry, Blitz Games. You're on the hook again. I'm gonna have to play your Bratz game later. I need to play more of those, like, like, games for. Oh my gosh. You know what I mean? Like the games for girls. Where it's like, girls can play games too, and they, they just, like, get, like, these real, like, kind of lame games. Like, I'm just saying, there's a lot of... the show things that... Yeah, yeah, it goes up to 100 immediately. I don't know what's up with, like... Like, that period of, like, games for, like, you know, young girls, and it's just... No engagement at all. And the worst part is that now we live in a world where, like, you know, there's The Sims and... Like, Animal Crossing. Games that have probably more, you know, women play than men, but it's, like, clearly it has, like, appeal for everyone. A bit of coffee in there. It's always coffee for Stitch, but it's always something different for Lilo. Man, there's giant spiders. Does, does Hawaii just have giant spiders everywhere as well? That didn't go up. I didn't press any buttons then. That didn't go up. I'm now watching for it. I'm, I'm, I'm watching real hard. I did not watch that go up at all. Giant dog sized spiders. Check, check the previous level? Yeah, yeah, I'll check the previous level. Alright, so, yeah, 233.50, 237.83. I'm pretty sure that was that was 237 the whole time. These are all in like a 230 camp. What is going on? Okay. Try speed running the next level. Maybe it just condemns you if you didn't get, like, 80. I didn't actually- Ah, oh, we're too busy focusing on the platform. We're too busy focusing on the platform. I didn't even watch the, the, the counter go up as high. Alright, but we'll do a proper speedrun, because, I mean, this level is too much waiting for things otherwise. But I'm literally gonna spend like no time waiting. I see those, I'm just like, oh no, boss it. Spider's right there. For the vanishing girl. The vanishing girl. Yeah, give you a twirl. She vanishes from the That album's a vibe. A vibe, sorry, not a vibe. <laughs> Technically, I, it's, a, it's a weird release on Spotify because it's like two shorter albums and they just released it as like one singular album in 2001. But it totally is two albums. Like, they're produced differently. I'm pretty sure they have a different drama. And it clearly ends where the first album ends. Ugh. Is it really a speedrun if I just do that? See, these, some of these enemies are just very hard to like hit though, because even though this is an attack, it's not really a... You know, it doesn't go very far. 
Bit, that was a bit gutsy of me, I'm sorry. There you go, there's a checkpoint. Oh, it's gonna impale me again. <laughs> you gotta stand still to activate that. Just missed it. <laughs> well, there's the end of the level. Okay, count it. I'm at 75. This should go up 25 seconds, right? <laughs> what does it need to be below? <laughs> what's the point? What's the what? What's the point? Gone. I broke the game. If I'm getting retro achievements leaderboards underneath, uh, I would like to apologize to everyone. But it's also kind of funny. I press X too fast the first time and it now has no idea where it goes. But the rest of the game works fine. <laughs> we get to witness this level again though. I've actually not encountered this uh, for- I have not been doing. Uh, my retro achievements devin this week. It's been pretty chill. Um, <laughs> stay there. Okay, proceed to stay there. I did. Did you see the the, the counter? Did say a hundred there for a hot second when I started. Probably a little easier now that I don't have to collect any other collectibles. Lilo, come here. Why is Lila running away from... <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, why, why is she even like running away from him in this instance? She has nothing to like fear from him and in fact I don't think ever has anything to fear from him. I think we're gonna have to go back to the D-pad for a hot second. Did you see that again? The freaking, once I move to the perfect diagonal, it's gone. What a strange, like, no! phenomenon. The, uh, the, if you put your, your analog stick perfectly diagonal, and then some games go, Oh, you've, uh, you've, you're not going full tilt in either direction, so it just slows the heck down. It's such a terrible feeling, but so many games where that happens. Yeah, no, that one just doesn't fall. That didn't fall last time, it didn't fall now. Alright, he's, he's just outrun me at that point. Didn't this happen last time as well, where it's like... You just caught up, like, right there, pretty much? Because it seems like he's meant to fall there, but the platforms don't go down. And it just seems that on, like, a restart, I have a better, like, you know, head start. So he doesn't chase me as hard there. Stay there. Stay there. He, he hasn't even fallen down the pit. Well, unfortunately for that one, I picked up everything, so... <laughs> okay. There are only two levels I have not done the, the speedrun for, as well. Perfect timing, I guess. Perfect timing. Okay. Ali Trali. So what have I done? I've, I've, I've sung Porcupine Tree. I've sung Dukes of Stratosphere. I've just, just, this is a karaoke session apparently. I was like, uh, I did get a hundred on that level. So <laughs> this one will definitely be a better test. Although me getting a hundred might actually be like a test of it. Fixing itself. 
Maybe, yeah. It's like 50 million things that, like, it just can't get killed in this level. I love how many, like, not, not necessarily 2D, but, like, side-scrolling or somewhere in this, like, style of platformer around this era. Specifically, it works in uh, the first two levels. Yeah, like, it, it broke afterwards. Whoops. Secretly the longest level. Ah, I gotta catch an alien at just the right time, man. Oh my gosh, just, just. And, and again, dying right before the checkpoint. Like that. But the opposite. The opposite direction. Gosh, <laughs> I keep trying to just go right because like how many other Crash Bandicoot enemies are like, you know, off screen like that. Watch out. Whoa. There you go. No, no. <laughs> it's just, it's just broken. It's just, <laughs> it just ain't working. It ain't doing what it wants to do. Still bugged. Someone's gonna, I, do we dare look at the memory of the game? Do we dare reverse this game? Someone already has it. Maybe I can ask whoever did the retro treatment set. Like, does this, like, not care? Okay. I gotta do the first level again? Okay. Okay. Okay, sure. I'm curious. I'm very curious. Well, I wasn't even gonna do the, the the time trials, and now we're at the end here. I am shocked, though, that it's like, yeah, like, what is that different? This is it. This is the last level in the game. This is this is it. Right. <laughs> Very nice. Um, but I, I think that's, like, you know, as, as a testament to this game, like, the short length, you know, it was, what, an hour and a half to get through the game, and then another, like, half hour just to run through every level like this. And he's, he's running, he's going. But, like, yeah, I... <sighs> Yeah, if I'm, if I'm gonna do the argument about, like, how much content in a game is, like, not enough, you know, like, short and sweet games, sometimes they're good. I can't say universally, I can definitely say for this one, it's like, man, could've, could've done with some more levels, or just some more variety, because ultimately, what differs level 1 from level 12? Uh, both Lilo and Stitch control very similarly. Stitch has an extra move, which maybe makes his levels... Well, I guess they both have an extra move, but, like, it rarely comes up. It's cool for what it is, but I would like for more out of it. Yeah, 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 for no variety. Like, I... At least it's not eight hours of this. I agree there. But yeah, yeah, like, on, on the flip side, it's... I, I'm just thinking of it from purely, like, a, a, a money a value perspective. Wow, some pot shots over there. <laughs> Gotta get the lives, apparently. Yeah, that was some... Yeah, that was some real bad ones, definitely. And this ain't a bad one. Yeah, it, it's just a... It's just a not much value in it. 
And yeah, 2002. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of like really weird ones. I, what's that? What was the one statement? It was like every Simpsons game except for Hidden Run and the Simpsons game are like pretty bad. Someone's gonna. Someone's. Oh, and the arcade game. The arcade game gets a pass. Full on speedrun of the first level. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. <laughs> Proper speedrun. Just to see again, because that's one, like, I did it, and then I tried it again, and I did indeed get, like, two minutes because of the added time. So, the theory holds. The question is, will it apply again, or will I just break 1 minute 24 because it's just balked? I'm not even trying now. I think it was, was it the second level I actually tried this in as well? So, it's not even this level. Uh, I've got like a... Maybe it is, I don't know. They did get the camera angle good though. Like, I don't think I really complain about like not knowing where I am. You actually know, one thing I, as I'm looking at it, the shadow on Lilo is remarkably like... It's actually kind of neat. Like, you can kind of tell, like, okay, it's a bunch of blobs. But it's like, yeah, it's soft where it needs to be. Ah, it's just broken. It's just broken. It's all broken. <laughs> it's all broken. It's all broken. Oh, no. Let me, let me check retro achievements. Am I just submitting very, very sus times? Lilo and Stitch, Trouble in Paradise, PlayStation. Oh, they don't have leaderboards. Okay. They're lucky. It's a very easy set. If, you, if, you, if you're if you on Retro Achievements, you want a quickie set, you do this one. Alright, we save, we go back to the menu, and we look at the one thing that you get for doing stuff. And I guess the extra thing for doing stuff, because uh, we've done the time trials. Like a <laughs> Man, a proper 100% as well. Quit? Okay. Screen black. Panic. And there we are. Lilo and Stitch. Remember all the Lilo and Stitch sequels? They had the animated show. So you get a gallery in this in this game. So we get to see all all these fun images that are from the movie. Some are. And you get to hit ooh every so often. Ooh. And I'm going backwards for this wow. list. Look at this. Ooh. But I'm pretty sure every single one of these is from the movie. Ooh. Including many that are... Oh, ooh. This, I, I feel like that happened so briefly in the movie. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. None of this ooh. stuff comes up in the game. <laughs> it's just gonna get old. This is gonna get very old very soon. Look at this. Wow. We're almost done, don't Look worry. Wow. There we go. And then you get some videos as well. You can choose to Oh, I love as well. They have um so they do have like just the videos that were in the game. But and and I don't know if Disney will 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 permit for this on YouTube. We'll see. There's these, like, trailers where they, they just threw Stitch in another game. Nah, it's trailer for this movie. But this is how they promoted this movie. <laughs> there it comes. I appreciate, I appreciate it, Disney. And then it plays back in black. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's basically the same trailer at that point onwards, but it's just like... It's... <laughs> Seriously, man. Trailers in the early 2000s, very different breed. We got three of these as well. It's great. It's so good. Only thing, there was no songs in Lilo and Stitch. 
I mean, I guess the Zelda's. It's close enough. But there's also no songs in Atlantis or Treasure Planet either. This is canon, by the way. That's actually canon. I swear. There's more back in black. Dude, I, I, I want to see more just 2000s trailers. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> All right, one more, one more for Disney to copyright strike me. We're going, we're going to town on this one. Oh yeah, Tarzan was relatively new, wasn't it? And we got more back in black again! <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, Ariel was 89, but yeah, yeah, like, they're pretty new. The parents would know. The parents would 100% know. I guess your other Disney films you would have done at the time, they had Beauty and the Beast there. Uh, what they have. Was the Burrows Down Under? Yeah, Milan. Pretty sure the Burrows Down Under was like 91, wasn't it? And then, yeah, Aladdin... Um, Pocahontas also, which Pocahontas doesn't get much mention in the Disneylands anymore. Actual full trailer. Oh my gosh. I'll have you know this is a war free stream. We are, we are not talking about digesting Stitch. Oh my gosh, I said the word finally. A shout out to the ending scene, which uh, had more buildings before it actually came out. You can find that footage on the internet. Of what that scene used to look like. Yeah, the plane scene, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sign of the time, so. That's pretty much it. That's everything this game has to offer. I shall, I shall, <laughs> I shall let you have a final thought as I ooh you. Oh. <laughs> oh, very nice. Yeah. L -l little tiny thing. I used to, I, again, uh, shout the conspiracy theory. One, I, as a kid, I didn't know that the US emergency number just so happened to be that. As well as also, yeah, exactly, exactly. Also, the Porsche has that same number. And I just feel like, like, if this was like 912, there'd be absolutely like no connection. But like, it just so happens, just so happens. And then, and then, and then all the conspiracy theories ran wild. Wow! Look at this! Oh yeah, 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 the, 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 the speaking wow. Arabic in the helicopter and they'll just say, you know, 9-11, like referring to the, the car, yeah. Good stuff. Wow! Alright, well in that case, <laughs> enough, enough, wow, look at this. I would like to thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, uh, Good luck watching how much of it on YouTube, I guess. We'll see how the VODs go. Uh, oh, 20... Yeah, they had the 2012 in there. Um, and if you're on YouTube, uh, you know, I guess technically content ID doesn't hit you live. So, uh, you know, consider watching live as well. But I try my best, you know, I do be. Or play this game for yourself because it looks pretty neat. And it's like, it works. Other than the time trial times, I guess, didn't really work. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, th that's all good. Um, and yeah, I guess, you know, for the for Disney saying, oh, how dare you steal, you know, content. Listen, people, go and see Lilo and Stitch. You know, it's a good movie. I enjoy it. Um, but yeah, other than that, stay safe. Eat your greens, don't stay up too late. And, uh... I don't know where I'm going with this. I should have a battle pass. Can, can I have a Blendo Stream battle pass? <laughs> we'll see. I... See ya, fellas.